So I'm working on building my bag for the 2024 disc golf season. The first episode, we went over straight to understable fairway drivers. I compared seven or eight different molds and asked you guys to help me choose which one was gonna be the best fit um, based on what you could see in the video. And you guys wound up settling on very widely. You guys let me know that out of all the discs I threw, the Latitude 64 Royal Brave was probably flying the best for me, at least on that day. And I actually couldn't agree more. I've really enjoyed the flight of this disc ever since I got it. Now today I've got a bag full of straight to understable mid ranges, and we're going to do the same thing, but we'll throw this guy, get one warm up shot just so you guys can see Royal Brave won the war of the straight to understable fairway driver. Just flying like an absolute gem. I can get it to hold a hyzer. I can get it to go straight. I can get it to turn over. Absolutely great disc. So now that the Brave is safely in the lineup for this year, we're gonna talk about the understable mid-range. Right next to the understable dri fairway driver, the understable mid-range is right up there with my favorite shots to throw in disc golf. Now that my backhand is finally starting to feel really sufficient, really adequate, and I can throw more shot shapes, those understable discs have rapidly risen to the top of things that I'm most interested in throwing because the understable shots are just so fun to throw. The first one is one, if you guys are watching the channel, you know I'm a huge fan of, the Discraft Meteor. And I'm about as far as it gets from being a Discraft, Paul Macbeth, Brody fanboy. But the Meteor is just really good. I've got this old ESP Meteor. I've got a whole bunch of backups for these. I've also got a Z Meteor here. We'll compare both of these guys today, but the Meteor is a beadless, flippy mid-range that I just can always count on for hyzer flips, for turnovers. I can bag a couple different runs in different plastics and get a slight variation in the flight. Overall, they're pretty consistent, but what they are consistent at is consistently straight, and that's the shot that we're gonna be talking about specifically today. So, Discraft Meteor. But you can see, it just doesn't really wanna deviate off that line. They go far, they go straight, and they complement those straight fairway drivers really well, because on the shorter holes, I can trust the Meteor to go dead straight, and on longer holes, I can trust the Brave to go dead straight. Same flight, but the Brave's gonna go whatever, 50 to 60 feet farther. Then we've got the Z Plastic Meteor. Same deal, you can just see wants to stay dead straight, but still stable enough to finish at the end, they're also going really far. So these glidey, more understable discs, you can really push the distance with those guys. Now the next mold is one I don't have backups for, but I would like to get backups for. It's another Discraft mold. It's the Discontinued Discraft MRV. This has a very similar profile to the DX Rock, but it has a bit more straight flight than a new DX Rock. The Discraft MRV, you guys know me, I like bagging sort of older, obscure, style points granting types of discs where I can. And the Discraft MRV is an absolute gem. And again, if disc golf was more popular and more people were playing 20 or 30 years ago, I have no doubt that this would be one of the most popular molds in the game because it is so dead, like just so similar to the DX Rock that's absolutely unbelievable. And if I put this in your hand, you would think it's a rock. And then you would look at it and think it's a, oh, oh whoa, what, what is this thing? It's a Discraft disc? I thought it was a rock. So anyway, Discraft MRV. You can see dead straight, a tick more stable than the Meteor, but still flies dead straight. And that's a disc I feel super confident throwing again and again and again. And as it beats in, it'll slowly turn into that Meteor flight a little bit more. But as it stands, I probably wanna get a couple backups to that Elite X MRV just because I think it's so fun to throw. It's so straight. And if you guys want me to throw the MRV all year, I'm super willing to do that. And I'd be excited to do that, but I'd have to get a few more backups. Now the next disc on this list is another one that I'm really excited about. This is the MVP Tangent. This is another discontinued disc. It's a discontinued MVP disc. It's a four speed that flies absolutely dead straight. This, I always say, is the mid-range that flies like a putter. 
It's got a very small micro bead on it, has a nice little bit of hyzer flip to it, and I have the benefit of having two of them. I've got the Neutron, which is a little more stiff, and I've got the Plasma, which is a little bit more gummy. Both of them patent pending old OG MVP discs. So I get my style points factor, but I also get an absolute beaut of a flyer. Apparently the Detour is very similar to this, but you guys know me, I want the style points, so I'm gonna go with the Tangent instead. Held that hyzer nicely, didn't quite flip up as much as the Meteor, but again, this is a very shapeable mid-range where I can throw the hyzer and have it stay on hyzer, throw it flat and it'll stay flat, or throw the Annie and it'll stay on Annie. And I do also like that it's a four speed, so it's a little bit more comfortable in the hand than maybe a five or a six speed for your mid-range shots. That's the flight we were looking for. So the Neutron, being that dead straight flyer that we're looking for, flew very similar to the Meteor, but I believe the Meteor feels a little faster in my hand than the Tangent, but that's gonna be the next option, MVP Tangent. Another disc I'd be really excited and proud to throw for the 2024 season. Now the next disc is gonna be the newest mold on the list. We've got the Yeet Street Discs Petra. The Petra comes in two different plastics. They've got like a solid one and then a see-through one. The see-through one is a lot more stable. This one flies a lot straighter, but this is a really great mold that feels very similar to the Dynamic Discs Truth, but the plastic to me feels a little bit better in the hand. I think the Truth is one of the best mid-ranges ever produced, but I just like this plastic a little bit more. These are produced by MVP in the Streamline plastic, but they were produced for Yeet Street Discs by MVP Axiom and Streamline. So non-overmold, MVP plastic, but it has the shape of a truth. To me, that sounds like an absolute winner. So anyway, it's a little bit more stable than those other options, but still a very straight flyer, especially in this uh, non-see-through plastic. But that thing, as you saw, stayed on an absolute line. And then another big amount of bonus points is I can bag it in two different plastics, and then this one will give me a little bit more overstable flight path. So again, very straight, but having a bit of fade at the end. So I really like that I can bag it in a few different plastics and get a few different flights. All right, we'll do one last flight test of everything. Comment below which one I should bag for the 2024 season. First one, I call it the Discraft Rock, but it is the Discraft MRV. Flies exactly like an end of a rock. Absolute beaut. Next option, Discraft Meteor. I do love that flight. And that is the flight that I fell in love with all last season. So I went out and got a bunch of backups to the Meteor. ESP Meteor. It's just a beautiful little flight right there. Then we've got the two tangents, one plasma, one neutron. There's certain discs I hope you guys are gonna vote for and <laughs> this is definitely one of them. but absolutely dead straight. I hope the detour flies like that because MVP desperately needed to add another disc to the lineup in the mid-range slot that flies like this guy does. I can't believe they discontinued it. It's just a gorgeous flight. Absolutely love the tangent. And then final option, Yeet Street. Petra, again, we've got two different plastics. This one's straighter, this one's a little more stable. So bonus points to uh, Yeet Street. These are also produced by MVP. That one flew pretty similar to the MRV, 
went a little bit farther, a little bit more fade. And then we've got the see-through one, a bit more stable. Well, all right, guys, there are four really awesome mid-range options for my bag in the 2024 disc golf season. Comment below which one you think I should bag for the season. I'm definitely a little bit more partial to some than others, but I'm curious what you guys think. Comment below. We've got the MRV, Meteor, Tangent, and Petra. They're all really awesome discs, but I really only have room in the bag for one or two molds. So comment your thoughts down below. Let me know which one I should bag and why. You guys are watching Iceberg TV and take care.